the biology mark schemes love writing only schools on another scale like from your biology practicals you have to do drawings and biological drawings and I did not know that these were such a big deal but for real they are a big deal I feel like a thin pencil and everything is just like so crazy like that Krebs cycle you'll be learning okay I have like plants everywhere you know Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my experience with A-level biology and if you should take it. Back in the day I watched Magda Nikki's videos like so many times over to like confirm if I was making the right choices with my subject. Hopefully I can give you a better insight that they wouldn't really say on like the opening days and things like that. From GCSE it's like you've got your shiny results and you're like yeah but you know this is the reality of the subject and how it is. Um, a lot harder than you assume <laughs> and it's different from GCSE. Luckily um, from the SAGs I got an A and you know personally I thought I could have got an A star, I got like above 90% in those of my tests but that's another issue. But overall I'd say you should take A-level biology because it's such a great subject, it's a facilitating subject, it's a very common science. Well, I feel like the sciences are so interconnected that you know with chemistry there's like biology and it's all kind of going in together so biology is definitely a great one that i'd recommend i made a video on the study tree project as an introduction to a-level chemistry and on my channel i've made an introduction to a-level biology so definitely check those out if you're going to be choosing if you want to do a-levels um in those subjects obviously for people that are wanting to do like medicine and sciences and stuff they want to do biology because it's a required subject. So in my school, I feel like there was a lot of people doing sciences, but in my biology lessons were the most like diverse in subjects, like people doing economics or business or English and, you know, all of those different subjects because there's so many other careers that you can add in there, like journalism of plants, sustainability, geography. So biology is such a great subject if you want like an all-rounding subjects that will be good for you to get into university to have a career in any kind of scientific area so what does a level biology actually have in it by year 13 there's a lot of people complaining about how much stuff we learn about plants and it's like so irrelevant like who cares about plants but for me i found it quite interesting you know because it's like we've got so many plants like everywhere i have like plants everywhere you know so i feel like it's so interesting to learn about there's so much depth uh, in A level biology, it's such a content heavy subject, and it's like uncomparable to any other subject because you're learning so much. And not gonna lie, I already sold my textbook, but uh, this is the chemistry textbook, and the, the biology textbook is like so much thicker. This is my um, iPad where I've like highlighted the spec, but it is ten thousand million gazillion pages long, and. There's so many details that you need to know like perfectly and I can't even I can't even scroll but there is just so so much that you have to know but at the end of the day you'll be fine. For OCR we had three exams so there's module one to six and then each of those has like loads of subsections. First uh, module there are so many practicals in biology I feel like that really makes it more fun though the way they're tested is quite different because it's like you've learned something and then in the exam it's like you have to apply your knowledge you can't use what you've learned like in GCSE you know just kind of write down what the practical was but in A level you'd have to like properly like come up with something because it's intense after module one the practicals there's module two which is the foundations in biology so that's cells biological molecules nucleotides enzymes biological membranes cell division these are literally the foundations of biology and everything is so intertwined that sometimes you're doing a question and it's like you can mix it with that topic and this topic and it's just crazy There's lots of content going on then the other modules are exchange and transport so like exchange services plants animals biodiversity evolution and disease disease is really interesting i guess that's like as a aspiring medic module five is communication homeostasis and energy like excretion respiration photosynthesis like that Krebs cycle you'll be learning okay and to end there's module six with genetics cellular control ecosystems evolution it's very broad there's a lot of different things taught and 
there's some people that were like really good at one topic and then really bad at the other so it's like you had to kind of help bring all of them up to the same standard to be able to do well overall the grade boundaries for biology are lower because the exam could write the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and they'd be like yeah you need to write it more specifically it'd be wrong and it was so frustrating getting tests back and seeing the mark scheme compared to your actual answer because they're basically the same like what and you wouldn't get credited if they weren't in the specific terminology that was needed the biology mark schemes love writing only your answer has to have that underlined word otherwise it doesn't count and that is so frustrating and annoying but you know you knew uh through revision it's really good to use the mark scheme to revise and that's something my teacher really really emphasized once you do like it's just the major key because at the end of the day if you're just writing notes whatever it's not the specific language they want so you need to be sure that you're doing the right thing and following the mark schemes so another thing about the practicals on another scale like you have to do 3d modeling on the computer and you have to measure things and calibrate things and every it felt like there was a practical every 10 seconds which is definitely a privilege and i understand like in different countries there's like not enough resources for that but sometimes it's really overwhelming and obviously you don't want to fail because then you'll have to like redo it or you'll literally like fail your entire a level so <laughs> There's always that background pressure, but I feel like no one actually failed, you know, it's just the threat. In A-levels as well, you get to design your own practicals and literally have, like, no help. And it's really interesting, you know, you learn so much, all the practicals. It was a flex, like, you know, just in that lab coat, you know, walking around, getting your iodine. And there's a lot of good memories in those practicals, you know, it's fun times. It's really good for, like, visual and kinesthetic learners because you're, like, actually there doing things. Like, it's a lot easier for you to remember in the exam because you've done it. And I feel like that is like such a privilege, you know, so I appreciate that. From your biology practicals, you have to do drawings and biological drawings. And I did not know that these were such a big deal, but for real, they are a big deal. And, you know, you have to have like a thin pencil and everything is just like so crazy. But those practicals are something. They are quite something. Biology is quite a satisfying subject to do. Sometimes you have to draw something. Sometimes you have to calculate something. You have to write stuff. And it's very well-rounded so i quite liked that um it's not just like everything is a calculation and everything is just like a one mark question so it's really good for having lots of skills so i thought i'd mention in this video like should you take a level biology and maybe a caution because you know um lots of people ended up dropping out but <laughs> um if you are not loving biology and if you don't Feel like you'd be interested in all the topics that were mentioned then maybe don't take it there were also people that did essay subjects that really didn't like biology because you know there's so many new skills that they didn't use in the other a levels say you're taking like politics and history and english and you want to do biology because you did well in it in gcse maybe don't do that biology is like very time consuming and there's so much to learn compared to other subjects. If you don't really feel like you've got that bond with it, you don't really feel like it would gel well with you, if you don't really need it for your university, perhaps look into other subjects. Uh, though I feel like biology would also be a good subject for those doing essay subjects because it's kind of mixing you in so that you can have a science-y career wherever you're looking to do. I hope this was helpful. I'm planning on doing a video for A-level chemistry and A-level maths and perhaps EPQ because I really enjoyed my EPQ. A comment down below if you're taking A Love Biology and if you have second thoughts or if your head's set on it and you're just really excited to get started because it is so interesting. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!